Ronan Tebutinis has been slowly rebuilding since the Ministry of Sports and Culture gave a directive to all sports federations to acquire legal status in 2014. The necessary steps have been taken and it's a matter of time before the federation acquires the legal status. This has meant no financial support since 2014, but according to Celestine Zaimana, the General Secretary of the Table Tennis Federation, the fraternity has been building its structures. Table tennis is played everywhere in the country, in the schools and upcountry. The federation is working, but the challenge has been not having the legal status. Many spoke has been encouraging us to get it. We contacted the individual clubs to search for their legal statuses because a minimum of three clubs need to be legally registered. And we did that. Now we are waiting on the Rwanda government's board to come through. The directive had some consequences on the game, but life had to continue. Our players got discouraged because that meant no more trips to play abroad, but we tried to work on it and talk to them as we looked for their statuses. And they did. The clubs did what was required and we got them. Everything is good now. The first club we worked with was Wilma Table Tennis, who have youngsters who go to represent the country. There is Vision Tennis Club, tennis club too, who are based here at the stadium. What we need now is the Federation's legal status. So, how was the situation during the years before? Much as we didn't have the legal status, they supported us. In 2014, they sent players to the Africa Youth Games in Gaboroni, Botswana. They supported us, but after the directive, the target has been for us to get that, that status. We don't have that many challenges because I know we are going to get our people soon. We are training students to go for September's FIASA Games in Kenya. The focus is now on the youngsters who make up some of the clubs and one of them is 16-year-old Patrick Mashenjisho who will represent his school at this year's FIASA Games in Kenya. I started playing when I was 13, and I have been playing for two years. I started playing at Ririma. We participated in a tournament here, and I was the first, and I kept raising like that. I went for Fiesta in East Africa, and we are going for this year's edition too. I have hopes of winning. We are training hard, and in my view, the training we are doing is sufficient to deliver us victory. Eric Nyomizijio, an Essex Lever, who represented his school, Lisero Chigali, at the Fiasa Games last year, believes the game is in a good place despite the challenges. At the schools, the game is in a good state. We were second in last year's Fiasa edition. We got to the finals. We played well, but luck wasn't on our side. If only we had more equipment like rackets, balls, and tables. We know the game, but we have a shortage of equipment. The wait for the legal status from the Rwanda Governance Board may take a while, but most of the groundwork is in progress. Time will tell how table tennis stands out, but the future looks promising. Stephen Kalimba, Rise and Shine Rwanda.